So taking the seventh power of this complex number in its rectangular form is tedious, we ain't gonna do it. Instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out what's the polar form of that number. So three plus four i, I wanna know what is that in polar form, r times e to the i theta. Now it says put the answer in the form a plus bi, but I can use Euler's formula to convert back after. But first I have to find the polar version. So again, just kind of thinking about this. One, two, three. One, two, three, four i would be here. So I'm graphing this point right there. I need to know what is its radius and what is its angle. So I'm gonna get the radius squared equals three squared plus four squared. Nine plus 16 is 25. Nice, so R is five, that's a beautiful number. And then the angle is gonna come from the tangent of theta has to equal that four over three. Now four thirds is not a special ratio on the unit circle. So the best I have here is that theta is equal to the arctan of four thirds or inverse tan if you prefer that notation. All right, so there's my angle. I'm just gonna call it theta for now. So I wanna know what is three plus four i to the seventh power. Well, that's the same thing as five times e to the i theta, where theta is that number. I'm just gonna leave it like that for now to the seventh power. And this is way easier, right? This is just a multiplication and power of multiples means I have five to the seventh, there's my new radius. And then I have e to the i times seven theta, right? Power to powers multiply the powers. Translating that to a plus bi, I use Euler's formula, which says this is five to the seventh times the cosine of seven theta, where again, this is my theta, plus i times the sine Oops, missed my five sevenths in there. Five to the seven. I times five to the seven times the sine of seven theta. And, and I actually can figure out, let's see, can I do that exactly here? Uh, not easily. All right, so then we're just gonna whip out a calculator uh, to get these numbers here, given we know the arc tangent. And we can do that in Desmos or GeoGebra. I uh, have Desmos already open here, so I'm gonna use that. Okay, so the seventh power of that gives me a new real part of five raised to the seventh power times, oh, I need the arctangent first. Okay, so what are we gonna call that? We'll call it T for theta equals the arctangent of Four thirds, is that right? Four thirds, yeah. And oh, they're giving me that in degrees. That should be okay. And we want to multiply that by seven. So that's my new angle. All right. Now in the past, I've had some trouble with degrees and radians with GeoGebra, so this may be dangerous, we'll see. All right, so then my X value is five raised to the seventh times the cosine of that angle right there, T. Okay. Hopefully that's right, we'll find out in a sec. And then my Y value is the part, the B to go with the I, it's also five raised to the seventh, but this time it's times the sine of that angle. So remember I had to use the arctan to find the original angle, but then because of the power, I had to multiply that angle by seven. T is my angle here, T. And this one came out not quite as nice, but maybe it's just rounding error there. I'm gonna go check with Desmos to make sure. I know Desmos defaults, it's not Desmos. Let's bring up a new Desmos tab. Desmos defaults to radians. And I want this Desmos. All right, so my angle, I'm gonna call it T again, is equal to the arc tan of four thirds. 
and it's sticking the radians, and I want to multiply that angle by seven. And then I want five raised to the seventh times the cosine of that angle. And that gives me 7,6443. What did GeoGebra say? 7,6443. Okay, so they're both behaving well. Yeah, so I'm confident in those two answers. So let's see, what do we got here? Let's move you down so I can write you down in my notes. It's always a good idea to write everything down you do. So we just calculated the number right here is 7,600, no, 76,443 plus I, and if I round the other one to the nearest whole number, I'm gonna get 16,000. 124 for that number right there. And again, the alternative to using the polar version, which was pretty damn slick, I would have to write three plus four I seven times and distribute, 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 distribute. Uh-uh, no thank you. I love math, but not that much.